you mentioned slow growing. How could a man with prostate cancer know if his prostate cancer is slow growing? Is there a test a man can take? The best ways to assess cancer. So there's, there's this concept of risk assessment of prostate cancer, and it can be a combination of things. It can mean what's the PSA. So how high is it? How quickly is it going up? It's often driven also by how big is the cancer. So that can be picked up on imaging and some on biopsy. Also the grade of the cancer, or what does it look like under the microscope to the pathologist? The higher grade, more aggressive looking cells we think of as being potentially more quickly growing, not rapid yep. per se, but quicker growing as opposed to the low grade, non-aggressive stuff, which can slowly grow, but doesn't spread elsewhere. So there's a variety of different information points. There's some other genetic and AI based tests that can be done too on the tumor tissue from biopsy. But generally the conventional stuff is, has been, what's the PSA, how big is the tumor? What are the results from the biopsy? What's the grade of the cancer? Yep. And that can give some indication. Now, once you have that information, there's no way to feel this. So a lot of times you guys hear, I have cancer, and then yeah. you get worried about, you know, every little thing that you feel, is this my cancer? Am I feeling this? Or my urinary yeah. function? Is my sexual function caused by the cancer? And, and almost always, that's not the case. And the, the cancer is asymptomatic, meaning yeah. if you have a weak stream, it's not always, but usually because of non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate and not because of growth of that cancer. So recognizing that you won't feel the symptoms generally for these localized prostate cancers, it's something that we'll have to discover by blood tests, imaging, and biopsy.